The prelude in F minor from the second book is a bit an, of an oddity in the Well-Tempered because it is Bach writing in a style that is not genuinely naturally his own and in fact it is a style which is much closer to um, his son Carl Philippe Emmanuel Bach. Um, and it is probably an attempt for Bach to show that he was in tune with the style of the time and that uh, should he want to write in that style, he could not only do it, but uh, do it extremely well. Um, it does remain that, and although this is an incredibly successful piece, it does remain that you can sense that Bach is not exactly at home in here. Now, what I mean by um, not his style, I mean, this is what you would call the Stil Galant or Empfindungkeit, I think you call it in German. Uh, the two are not exactly similar, but they are. It's a greater simplicity of writing, less polyphonic complexity, uh, a more clear and direct emphasis on feeling. Um, it really is sort of pre-classical style in some way. The prelude runs like this. That is already unusual because normally Bach writes his piece out of one idea and here after four bar you have a second idea so you have two sharply contrasted ideas at the beginning and this is a kind of musical thinking which is going to give rise to the classical style and indeed to the sonata form uh, and this Again, this prelude is not very far from the sonata form. Um, Bach being Bach, he, he can't really keep those separate for too long. They tend to very quickly merge into one thing and uh, you eventually uh, get... <laughs> separate strands uh, of music tend to join and become hard to dissociate any, uh, any longer. So in that sense, Bach is still being himself while writing that piece. Um, but yeah, so it remains a little bit of an experiment uh, in the collection. And the fugue is one I like very, very much. Um, the prelude has real depths of feeling. Uh, at least that's how I... I mean, although I suppose you could conceive the prelude as being fairly sort of almost superficial in its very gentle melancholy. <laughs> you could like, look at it as doing this. I rather think it... slightly deeper. Uh, the fugue is definitely lighter in spirit. Um, but it has a sort of gentle underlying melancholy which is pervading the piece uh, and prevents it from being too brilliant in some ways. Um, it has a soft undertone. Um, I don't want to say too much about it because I think it very much does speak for itself. Um, so I'll just get on with it. <laughs> 